Hi guys and welcome to the channel, I am Stan KO and in this Guild Wars 2 video I will show you how you can get this pretty nasty looking Skyscale skin. Now before we start there are a few minor requirements that you have to keep in mind. The first and the most obvious one of course is that you must have Secrets of the Obscure expansion, then you have to complete the achievement A New Friend. I already have a guide explaining how you can complete this achievement so if you want to check uh, that one first feel free to do it. One hour after the completion of this achievement you automatically unlock another one called a new look. This is exactly the achievement that will reward you with the Crypty Skyscale skin. And like a bonus you also get a Crypty Skyscale mini. The final requirement is a list of materials that is recommendable to have before you start working on this achievement. Before we continue I have a small favor to ask from you. If you find the information in this video useful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you like to support the channel and my work even further, don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Now with all this out of the way, let's begin. After you unlock the achievement and you look, the first thing you have to do is to talk to Skyscale Trainer Diane. She will explain you what the situation is and what you have to do next. You can find her next to the Beacon of Ages waypoint in Skywatch Archipelago. In the second step you have to purchase the analytical charm from Lear in the Wizard's Tower. This item costs 5 charged quartz crystals, 200 globes of ectoplasm, 20 Deldrimore steel ingots or 20 spirit wood planks. Which one you are going to use is absolutely up to you and one amalgamated cryptis essence. The latter can be crafted or purchased from Lear, the only difference is that Lear will ask for 10 globes of ectos extra. In the third step you have to complete the Skyscale target practice adventure. The starting location is right next to the Skyscale trainer Diane. The goal of this adventure is to destroy targets by dashing through them or using the fireball skill of your Skyscale. It's super easy and I have no doubt that you'll complete it from the first attempt. Step number 4 is similar to the previous one, just this time you have to destroy 20 cryptis turrets using again the Skyscale Firebolt skill. These turrets are located in several spots in Amritas, with the best location being the North Defensive Operation Camp. During the event destroy the Cryptis turrets. Ok, let's continue with step number 5. Uh, in this one you have to spend 30 continuous seconds carried by a ley line while you are mounted on your Skyscale. I use the ley line that starts uh, northeast of Beacon of Ages Waypoint and it worked perfectly fine. Step number 6 is super simple, you have to go back and talk again with Skyscale Trainer Diane and bring her the data you have collected so far. In step number 7 you have to purchase Anodice Medicinal Cauldron from Lear. This item costs 3 cases of captured lightning, 3 pouches of stardust, 20 Deldrimore steel ingots and 1 amalgamated cryptis essence. The cases of captured lighting uh, you can purchase from any of the provisioner vendors in Skywatch Archipelago and the pouches of Stardust are bought from the same vendors but in Amnitas. To complete steps 8 and 9 you have to do the two Soto Strike missions. Cosmic Observatory and Temple of Feb or Feeb. I'm already getting crazy with all these strange Guild Wars 2 names. You should see how I struggled with the Agonized Medicinal Cauldron. Just for the protocol you can purchase from Lear a skip for those two steps, but I don't see any reason why you should do that. By the way guys, what do you think about dedicated strike mission guides? Would you like to see this type of content in the channel? Just let me know in the comments below. In step number 10 you have to collect 250 tasty worm segments. You get those from hunting jungle worms. Keep in mind that the world bosses and the champion worms will give significantly more meat than the normal worms. The great jungle worm world boss and the worms north of Caledon Heaven waypoint in Caledon forest are perfect source for this item. After you collect the necessary amount of meat, you have to go back to Beacon of Ages and talk again with Diane. She will prepare a medicine that you have to give to the Skyscale. 
and this will complete steps 11 and 12. Unfortunately, the medicine will not work and in step number 13, you have to collect 1000 arcane osmographier fragments from laser and greater arcane chests uh, that are scattered all around uh, Horn of Maguma maps. Of course, the greater chests are dropping much more fragments than the lasers, so I advise you to go for them. I will leave a link in the description to a map showing the locations of this chest in all three Horn of Maguma maps. After you collect all the necessary fragments, uh, go back again to Beacon of Ages and use your Heart of the Obscure on the 6th sky scale next to Diane. This final step uh, will complete the achievement A New Look and you'll get uh, your Cryptic Sky Scale skin. So guys, if you found the information in this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Uh, for more Guild Wars 2 guides similar to this one, be sure to check the channel and if you want to support my work and the channel even further, don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, have a great one and I will see you pretty soon.